aquatic pigs and arachnids, to elephants and big cats, here are 15 creatures you didn't know could swim. Hey, Task Force 4000, congratulations on a cool name and for earning a shout out. So many thanks, man. We're glad you enjoy the content and decided to subscribe. So many thanks indeed. And if you want to let us know how you like this episode, don't forget to leave a comment or suggestion down below. Hedgehogs. The little woodland critters do enjoy splashing about in the water, although they're better suited to smaller venues like bathtubs or sinks. And most of their aquatic adventures occur when it's their scheduled bath time. Interestingly, Sonic, the most famous hedgehog, never swam in any of his video game escapades. That's because his creator said he just assumed that hedgehogs couldn't swim. Surfing hippos. Even though they spend a lot of time in the water and under the water, these massive mammals don't truly swim. They actually walk under the water. So why are they on the list? Because even though hippos don't swim, they've been known to surf. At the Luongo National Park of Gabon, Central Africa, the animals have been spotted body surfing in the waves. Leopards. Did you know the smallest of the large cats are known to enjoy the water? Although not quite as much as tigers and jaguars. They are regarded as strong swimmers and are known to eat crabs or fish. Among the big cats, leopards are said to be the most adaptable to their environment. Pigs. If you didn't think porkers can make a splash, guess again. The animals are known to be excellent swimmers and will employ that skill whether to escape danger, cross water in search of food sources, or to seek more favorable habitats. The best example of swimming pigs is found in the Bahamas. The uninhabited island of Big Major K is home to a group of feral but friendly porkers who are often seen swimming by tour boats in search of treats. No one seems to know exactly how they got there, but one theory is that they were survivors of a shipwreck near the island and just made themselves at home there. Jaguars. Along with the tiger, this is the only other big cat that has a similar fondness for water. Jaguars are known to play, swim, and hunt in rivers and streams. Some historical accounts claim that these apex predators would dip their tails into streams in order to lure fish. Its stocky body structure makes it well adapted to navigating the water, and jaguars are powerful enough to carry large prey as they swim. Mice. These little rodents are not only capable swimmers, they're also good at doing so underwater. Because they can swim for extended periods of time, adult mice are known to swim to higher elevations in order to escape floods. More often though, mice will do their best to escape a watery environment at the earliest opportunity. Fishing spiders. It might seem a little unusual, but there are some species of spiders that enjoy a watery habitat. The six-spotted fishing spider is known to stay underwater for around 30 minutes in order to snatch its prey or to evade predators. Water-repellent hairs on their abdomens enable the arachnids to trap air in order to breathe. Fishing spiders are also known as fish-eating spiders. As their name implies, they can prey on smaller fish and even eat them. Some of these spiders are capable of taking down fish that are several times larger than themselves. Including the pond wolf spider and the great raft spider, these critters are found on the continents around the world, except for Antarctica. Camels. There's an animal that deserves to cool down. It must be camels. Not all camels can swim though. There's a unique breed of the animal known as Karai, known to swim almost two miles in the sea. And they do so in order to locate mangrove to feed on. The critters are unique for their ability to exist in dry ecosystems in addition to coastal ones. To date, Gujarat, a state in western India, is the only place this remarkable breed of camel can be found. Diving Bell Spider So fishing spiders aren't the only aquatic arachnids swimming around out there. Water spiders are actually known to spend the better parts of their lives underwater. They're better known as diving bell spiders, thanks to the bell-shaped structure they make from silk. It stays inflated with air that's transported from the surface by the arachnids. Structures created by the females tend to be larger and are used for mating and raising offspring. Rats. Here's one critter on the list that might give a lot of viewers the outright gym jams. But as reviled as they can be, rats really are capable of some amazing feats. They're able to hold their breath for around three minutes underwater and tread water for around 72 hours straight. They can use their flexible bodies to deftly maneuver through narrow toilet pipes and sewage systems. Some species of rats can squeeze through an opening a few millimeters larger than the size of a US dime. Reports from New Zealand indicate they have enough endurance to swim from island to island. Hey, even Michael Phelps might have to give the rodents their props. Capybaras. 
They are known to be the world's largest rodents, growing over 4 feet long and weighing over 140 pounds. But did you know they have partially webbed feet and are semi-aquatic creatures? Not only are capybaras nimble on the land, they are equally at home in the water. They are excellent swimmers and can stay totally submerged for up to 5 minutes when evading predators. They can even sleep in water, keeping only their noses exposed to breathe. Did you know that capybaras are considered intelligent, social animals, and are often even kept as pets? Tigers. The world's largest species of cat is no stranger to the water, and they're known to be adept swimmers. They'll commonly bathe in lakes and rivers to cool off during the heat of the day. It's thought that tigers may have evolved this aquatic affinity due to living in tropical jungles with wide rivers. Tigers can swim rivers wider than 4 miles across and are capable of swimming distances of 18 miles each day as they patrol their territory. Their prey can be carried or captured in the water. Elephants. You probably already knew these giant pachyderms were good swimmers. They always wear their trunks. Yes, that's a bad elephant joke. But the animal's aquatic abilities are no joke. Their massive bodies actually help to keep them afloat, and that buoyancy keeps them from drowning. Their trunks can be used like a snorkel, allowing them to stay submerged underwater for extended periods. And their powerful legs allow them to paddle and swim for long distances. Like all mammals, elephants are natural swimmers. The only ones, in fact, that have to learn the ability are primates, like humans. Some experts think the elephant's affinity for water comes from a common ancestor they shared with manatees millions of years ago. The two species are related. Moose Taxi Adult moose are known to run up to 35 miles per hour, but they're also excellent swimmers and can navigate the water pretty fast, too. They'll often hit the water to avoid predators or just cool down. Sometimes they put their aquatic ability to use and rent themselves out as a sort of moose taxi offering rides to other critters who can't make the journey on their own. Otherwise, it might ravel up to 6 miles per hour for 2 hours at a time, enabling it to cover large areas. Honorable Mention And, before heading to our number one animal swimmer, let's take time for an honorable mention. The giraffe might be the most unlikely swimmer on our list. We came across this picture of a giraffe that apparently swam or waded in the water to snack on some trees. We're guessing it's a Photoshop job or some other manipulated image. And so far as we could tell, no one's ever actually seen giraffes navigating the water. But there was an experiment conducted in 2010 to see if the animals could in fact swim. So that's why the critters are getting the honorable mention. Some researchers got together and created a digital representation of a giraffe and applied its real world mass and weight, then placed the digital giraffe into some digital water. The results indicated that a giraffe would actually remain buoyant in up to around 9 feet of water, but their unusual shape would make them awkward as swimmers, so they'd be better at waiting. There are rare accounts of them doing this outside of the matrix. To paraphrase the official conclusion, being in water would be a disadvantage for giraffes compared to staying on solid ground, which isn't exactly sticking your neck out to say. Domestic cats. As we've seen, big cats like tigers really like the water, but how about their smaller cousins? Most of us think of domestic cats as trying to avoid the water, but there are some felines that don't seem to mind their fur getting wet. As an example is the Turkish van, which is often called the swimming cat due to its love of water. This cat breed is known to simply lie in the water when it's not swimming, and it has some company from other domestic cats that enjoy taking a dip including the Japanese bobtail and the Norwegian forest cat, which has a water-repellent coat. But the Turkish van was the only one we could find that's known especially for swimming. Do you have a favorite waterproof cat that we missed? 